Yo, it's your boy G Shrimp, everybody favorite baby daddy, the boy from the street, man. And today we on 76 in racing, y'all. I came down here by the park. They changed the name of this park to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Park and Family Entertainment Center, y'all. And that right there is the skating rink over there. I'm just going to walk through this park for a minute. I used to bring my grandkids up here. They had changed for over the years. They they really done it up real good, y'all. You know, the kids got swing sets over there. They can play on and oh, this grass and all that. But I remember way, way back in the day, we used to be in here because this is Rock Island, right? And we used to hang up here all the time. One of my friends got killed right here. This is probably what that is. Ass for a wife there. Right there. And uh, we was young, y'all. We was just starting thugging. And on that side over there, it used to be the folks. And we was battling for this park, right? Because they got a section over there. And it's so close to our land, too. So it caused problems. So whoever would get caught in this motherfucker, it might be a bad day. You know, but we eventually end up getting the pod, but because it was too far for them to run back. But they came from that way one day, and they was walking. And you know what they say sometimes, being too brave only go get you so far in life, and then it'll get you killed, right? You know, and uh, I'll never forget, I wasn't up here. It was Sony and my little partner, little Evon. Evon was a little goon, y'all. He like I was. We was young, wild, and the motherfucker. We was down the star shit all the time. So I think we had went over there. We probably had kicked it off, because we always kicked shit off. And they came walking up. Him and his cousin seen the guys with the hoodie. I guess they noticed to the way they walked. But the problem is they both should have ran. It's either like this, flight or fight. If me and you together, if we go fight, let's fight. If we go run, we go run. You don't run and leave nobody. And Sony ran off and left Elvon. Elvon like, man, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't scared of these niggas. And he stood that man, and they shot that little boy in his head, man. And he shitted on himself, right? And a lot of people don't know that when you get shot or killed, that's one of the first things that go on you. You have a bowel movement because your body fluids, all, everything release. You know how if you got to go to the bathroom, sometimes you, you know, hold it. You can hold it. You clutch it up. But when you get deceased or you get shot, all that goes away. You release everything and, you know. That's crazy. That ain't the first time I heard somebody defecating on themselves uh, after they was, uh, they was, you know, killed. You know. Now I'm gonna walk down here to the front, y'all, and uh, let y'all see the front of this place. I hope my phone got enough juice to show y'all this. This here. It's what they built, right? It's a skating rink. Now, there go Popeye's right there. On that corner down there, it's a liquor store, y'all. You know, that's our famous little liquor store. That's Popeye's. Popeye's been surviving for years, y'all. I don't know why, because they got the worst service in the city, but they the only place in the hood if you want to get a quick piece of chicken. So you know how it is. I don't know why I said that. Motherfucker got a chicken shack in the hood. He going to last forever. Shit, he sell chicken. Yeah, I, su I shouldn't be surprised this motherfucker still here, y'all. Shit. <laughs> Everybody down to eat some chicken, even if it ain't good chicken. They hoping it was better than it was yesterday. We even know the cook. We saying shit like, hey, my girl in there cooking today, man. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. And we do shit like that. And, uh, yeah, there go old Popeyes, y'all. Yeah. Popeyes. Louisiana, Kentucky chicken. Ain't that all the good chicken come from Kentucky?
Kentucky Fried Chicken. I didn't know Popeyes was from Louisiana. Louisiana, Kentucky Fried Chicken, huh? Damn. Anyway, he goes the side of the building, y'all. You know. Yeah. Uh, there you go, the liquor store right there. And on the inside of this place, I'm going to just take y'all around. Hold up. Take y'all around. The inside of this place, I brought a friend up here. Now, you need to know, they search you when you come in. They want you, so you can't bring no weapons in here. And that's why it's a safe place. They got kids in here. If you want to bring your family up here, you don't have to worry about anything. It's safe. They got a bowling alley and a skating rink. And they serve food, no alcohol. It is a good place to come visit with your kids. You know, I have to come up here another day and go in there because they won't let me just go in there and film. I have to actually buy a ticket to go in there. Yeah, see, in school, I was looking at that. That right there used to be the can company, y'all. It is a, a, it's an apartment building now. See, it's an apartment building, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that company. And there it is, y'all. The skating rink. Got the monitor thing. Skating rink. Look at it, y'all. Roller skates, Chicago's best. Let's say, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Park and Family Entertainment Center. There go Martin Luther King right there, y'all. That's his statue. That's the clock that's over the place. It's nice, y'all. Look, it says 76 bowling. See, the bowling alley on this side, y'all, and the skating ring is on the other side. You know, so, so you got the buses up here because they were on the school. They probably had a field trip. And that right there, this is what I was just saying. They turned them into a little apartment. They like little condos. What they are, they cheap, uh, low income. I had a friend stayed in there where he wasn't a friend, he was a customer. Do you know this motherfucker rent was $25 a month? Do you know that motherfucker wouldn't pay $25 a month? They let him go four months and they figure, okay, well, you just owe us $100. If the man smoking cocaine and wouldn't pay you $25, what makes you think he go pay you $100? <laughs> but they sure thought it and they ended up putting him up out of there, right? Then I had another friend stayed in there. The police came in there to the management office and told the management people they heard he was selling cocaine out the apartment. Don't you know the management people knocked on his door and told him the police told us they go raid your house. They heard you selling drugs. You need to cool out. You know what he did? He didn't stop, y'all. He went upstairs and started doing it on his floor in somebody else's apartment for a little while. But he couldn't fight that temptation. And then after he did that for about two weeks, he eased on back down to his apartment. And would you believe they kicked that motherfucker door down, caught his ass, <laughs> caught him with everything he ain't supposed to have, y'all. Everything he ain't supposed to have. Now that right there, y'all, is a senior building. And this here would be the beginning of the complex. That's the beginning of the complex. I used to hang out there years ago. So I just wanted y'all to see that. Let's see how much time I got. I still got a little time. So I take y'all back. Y'all see the buses coming to get the kids? I want y'all to see this because see a lot of y'all, all y'all here is the bad shit that happened in Chicago. Y'all don't think nothing good happened in Chicago. Bad shit happened to bad people, y'all. When I was banging, people was trying to kill me all the time. They ain't tried to kill me since I stopped hanging out in the streets. So the people they run up on y'all is the people they looking for. 
the people that's on Instagram teasing somebody's brother that just got killed yesterday, and they ride in their grandma car, and then they get grandma and the little girl's fucking shot. And they act like they don't know what the fuck been happening. All at the funeral, like, they don't know why somebody did this. Boy, y'all know y'all shot at them people out that truck. Why you think they know that truck? They been on that motherfucker since the day y'all pulled off the block. They seen the SpongeBob in the window. People look at your locales and stuff, stickers that you have in the back window. People look at cars and they notice them from that. So if they say, is this that car, is that car? That's it, that's it, Joe, that's it. They go to SpongeBob, that's it. And there it is, y'all. Best thing you can do is stay positive, stay out the way. Do what these kids are doing. They're just enjoying themselves. They're enjoying themselves. Here it is, that host your party with us. Private event out there. Okay. I see them. No, they even got late nights, they say. Out there work. Okay. Fun and drinks, late night. Okay. There go Dr. King again, y'all. Y'all want to see the king? I'm doing this, y'all, because I want y'all to see something different, you know. I be in the studio so much. And uh, this here right down the street, you wouldn't believe. I didn't even drive down here. I rode a bike down here. I just fixed it up for my nephew and tested it out and see if it worked. And I always try to keep my word. I was go drive up here. Look, they got the bike. Okay. You know, see that says senior building. I always try to keep my word. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yep, I always try to put my word down. I can cross right here. Thank you, bro. See, that's how you do people, man. Help people out. Don't kill nobody, y'all. Don't hurt nobody. That a nigga store is, y'all. Mm -hmm. Looks like he been working. Looks like people been working. My neighbor, his little girlfriend. Woo-woo! I'm at work, man! I said, I'm at work! Now I'm all right! <laughs> My neighbor's talking about, you better get back down that way. I'm at work, nigga. What you talking about? Get down there. I don't got to get no motherfuckers well. Nobody tell the G shrimp where the fuck to go. I want to go the fuck who block it was. Where it was that? If I want to come over there, come in and do whatever I got to do and get the hell gone. You know? But this here is just me showing off uh, what's going on. And look, right there, that's the library, y'all. Right there, that's the library. You see how they keep the grass cut on that side of the street? Hold on. On that side of the street for that uh, that apartment, they keep their grass cut nice and low. I got a cousin that drives trucks. When she come to town and she need to park her 18-wheeler, I bring her up here and let her park in this lot. And over there by that building, but uh, they didn't let the grass grow. I don't know why they ain't. Somebody, my probably don't own it. This stuff right here be valuable, y'all. If you can purchase lots like this and sit on it until somebody want to purchase it, a developer or something, it'd be worth money. And you can put them little bitty houses. You can put a trailer house. I ain't no telling what you can put over here, bro. But I don't know about houses because this is a uh, commercial district. So I don't think we can put 
no houses. If you notice, ain't no houses on the street. My house is the only house on the block, and that's because it used to be a store. And whoever owned it before we purchased it probably owned that store. So we got away with it. But if we sell it, or it burn up again or anything, or if we sell it to the next owner, they got to turn it back into commercial property. They got to uh, open up a store. I might do that anyway, though. I've been plotting, planning on doing that for years. But, you know, my mother never wanted to move. You know, we know, tried to buy her houses and the shit. She never wanted to leave the neighborhood. So, we couldn't do nothing but make sure that building was paid.